So this video will be about apotropaic devices, um, which pretty much are devices or symbols that ward off evil. Apotropaic is an adjective meaning that someone has the power of averting evil influence. It comes from the Greek meaning apotropaeus, meaning averting evil, which is uh, further from apotropaean, meaning to turn away or avert. The ancient Greeks, in a sense, invented the formal idea of warding off evil, or at very least, they included and adapted apotropaic devices, uh, which they used in their religious practice. A great example of which is the Hermi, which was a block of marble that included the head of Hermes and his erect penis. Because phallic imagery is extremely prevalent in the ancient Greek art and sculpture, it is relevant to mention the classical beauty standard in which uh, the male body was depicted as the highest possible standard. In addition, the phallic imagery most likely comes from early mankind symbols, as apes use erections to warn other apes um, of territorial boundaries and deter other apes from attacking them. Greeks use apotropaic devices on their drinking cups, called kilikes, which features large eyes uh, that were painted on the cups themselves to prevent evil spirits from possessing someone while they drank. Pretty much, they have these big eyes so that even when you're drinking, um, you're being watched over by this thing what, that will apparently ward off evil. That's kind of the philosophy behind it. And divine art also prominently features apotropaic devices which terrify evil spirits. The best Greek example of this is Athena's shield, the Aegis, which featured Medusa's head mounted on it for the Greeks. Securing one's safety was paramount, and imagery was one way to guarantee spiritual protection, or at least appeal to certain gods and divine aspects that would help you uh, ward off evil. Romans also adopted and used similar symbols, motifs. Um, two great examples, or prominent examples, are uh, Priapus and Liber Pater. Even in the me medieval age, apotropaic symbols held weight and were taught um, thought to protect from evil spirits by some.